Hey guys, this is Anna. Welcome to this month's video of Ask Me Anything, where I've gathered some of your questions and I'll be answering them. Uh, but before we do that, uh, if you remember my unboxing video, where I personalized the car design file and Autodesk actually printed it for me, well, I want to say thank you and call out the amazing work of another Autodesk student ambassador, Sunny Panic. He very graciously allowed Autodesk to use his design file so that students like me or like you, we can practice in Fusion 360 and improve our skills. So if you like that video and you want to customize your own car and you're into automotive design, then I really recommend that you go and check out Sunny's Instagram account because he has tons of incredible car designs there. Uh, it's quite impressive, so yeah, uh, make sure you go check it out. And now let's go back to our video with the first question. Can generative design be done in Fusion 360? Yes, it can. Uh, generative design has been available in Fusion for a while now, maybe I think a year or a year and a half. And you can actually have a free trial uh, of it. So you just need to go to the uh, Autodesk website, uh, I can leave some information in the description. Uh, but also, uh, generative design is actually free until the end of the year. So this is the perfect time for you to get generative design in Fusion 360, uh, so take advantage of it. So next question is, how do I rotate my models so easily in Fusion 360? So when I'm doing uh, some tutorials in Fusion, people notice that I rotate my models uh, around very fast and very easily and they don't really know how I can do that uh, with the, the keyboard or just my, my mouse. Uh, and that's true, that's because I'm using a 3D mouse. I use the Space Mouse Pro from 3dconnection.com and if you've never used a 3D mouse, uh, it really makes all of the difference in CAD, so it's it, it's a completely different workflow. You can do things much faster. It really is a lot of help. So yeah, you can check them out at 3dconnection.com. Uh, they have uh, very different models for all kinds of purposes. So if you just want the rotating feature, they have this uh, tiny uh, 3D mouse, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, I'll leave the link in the description below as well. So you can check them out, it's, uh, it's really cool. Uh, all right, third question. Do I hope to get a job in automotive design when I graduate slash what is your dream job? Uh, no, uh, automotive designing is okay, it's fun, but I'm doing theoretical physics at uni and I really want to pursue that. So I'll say that my dream job is a research career. Uh, doing some crazy things either in quantum field theory or string theory or general relativity or something along those lines. So uh, yeah, a research career I think is my dream job. And next question, how to learn generative design with manufacturing? Uh, this is uh, a specific uh, question. Well, there's many free resources uh, on the internet, uh, but okay, uh, here on YouTube, there's a Fusion 360 channel, which they have a video on it. And Lars Christensen channel, he does a lot of CAM related or manufacturing related videos. Uh, and he has a video specifically on how to set up a generative design project. So I'll link those in the description. And also you can check out, of course, the Autodesk website and the Autodesk Design Academy, where they have tons of courses and webinars and all sorts of learning material and everything is free. So uh, yeah, check that, those out as well and hopefully you find the information that you're looking for there. I also get asked if I'm an industrial design or mechanical engineering student. Uh, no, I already answered, I'm a physics student. And next question, how many languages do you speak? Uh, I'll say four. Portuguese is my mother tongue and English. Uh, I think I speak fluently. But then French and Spanish, I don't, I'm not really fluent, but I can have conversations with people. So yeah, three and a half, four. Uh, and finally, how did I get involved with Autodesk? Uh, this started in my first year of university when I registered as an Autodesk student expert after I've attended the F1 in Schools World Finals in Singapore. And once you register as a student expert, you start getting 
there are newsletters in your email and you start networking with people and you get involved with the education community. So basically in one of those newsletters there was a job offering for London uh, Fusion 360 Catalysts and I just applied uh, and I kind of been getting different projects with Autodesk and I just kept being involved with them, uh, which I'm very happy with. So that's how I, I started. And you can do the same. You can register as a student expert as well. Uh, I'll leave a link for our new Autodesk uh, Ambassador app, which is where all of the student experts and ambassadors are. And there are some professionals there as well from, from Autodesk. So you can really network with everyone and get to know all the different challenges and opportunities that uh, are happening there. So uh, yeah, check that uh, as well in the description. And that's it. Those are our questions for uh, this month's video. I hope that you found it informative. And of course, if you have any other question, you can always leave it in the comments and I'll try to, to answer them. And uh, yeah, that's all from me now. And I'll see you next month. Bye.